AEM 21-714C and 21-714P air intake systems are engineered to add horsepower and reduce restriction compared to OEM air intakes and they come with a lifetime limited warranty. AEM intakes utilize a reusable dry flow air filter. These oil-free filters are durable and very easy to clean. AEM 21-714C and 21-714P air intakes fit 2012 and 2013 Honda Civic models with a 1.8 liter engine. See the AEM catalog or aemintakes.com for complete model list and details. These air intake systems are not legal for highway use in California or other states adopting California emission standards. Check aemintakes.com for up-to-date information on emissions legality for specific parts on specific vehicles. AEM power testing showed an estimated power gain of 4 horsepower at 3600 RPM with this air intake installed on a 2012 Honda Civic DX with a 1.8 liter engine. Actual results will vary depending on the condition of the vehicle, mileage, weather and other variables. Here's a comparison of the car's sound on the dyno with a stock OEM system versus AEM's air intake system. AEM air intakes come with detailed instructions with pictures and diagrams. AEM intakes are engineered for specific vehicles to produce a safe horsepower increase. Preparing the vehicle. Make sure the vehicle is parked on a level surface. Set the parking brake. If the engine is run in the past two hours, let it cool down. Disconnect the negative battery terminal. Raise the front end of the vehicle with a jack. Refer to your owner's manual for proper jack and jack stand placement to properly support the vehicle. Support your vehicle using properly rated jack stands before wheel removal or while working under the vehicle. Remove the driver's side wheel. Do not discard stock components after removal of the factory system. Removal of the stock system. Remove the front bolt securing the factory air box. Remove the right bolt securing the factory air box. Disconnect the air duct from the front of the factory air box. Pull the air duct out of the vehicle's engine compartment. Loosen the hose clamp at the air box. Pull up firmly to dislodge the air box from the mounting grommets and then pull it forward. Disconnect the mass airflow sensor. Release the mass air sensor clip on the air box. Remove the air box from the vehicle's engine compartment. Remove the back two bolts securing the air box bracket. Remove the front top bracket bolt. Remove the lower bracket bolt. Remove the upper ECU bolt. Move the ECU to gain access to the remaining bracket bolt. Remove bolt. Remove the bracket. Release the wire harness clip from the bracket. Reinstall the bracket back into the engine compartment, moving the wire harness on top of the bracket. Release the clip on the PCV pipe and remove the pipe from the intake tube. Release the clip of the valve cover for the PCV hose. Then remove the hose from the valve cover. Loosen the hose clamp at the throttle body. Remove the stock intake tube from the vehicle's engine compartment. Remove the two clips securing the side splash shield. Remove the three plastic clips securing the fender liner. Remove the two plastic clips securing the fender liner. Move the fender liner aside to gain access to the fender well. Remove the upper bolt securing the resonator tube. Remove the lower bolt securing the resonator tube. Remove the resonator tube. Remove the mass air sensor from the air box. Release the clip on the thermostat housing hose and move upward. Remove the coolant hose from the thermostat housing. Release the clip on the throttle body hose and move. Remove the coolant hose from the throttle body upward. Installation of the AEM intake system. When installing the intake system, 
Do not completely tighten the hose clamps or mounting hardware until instructed to do so. Install the provided coolant hose and clamps onto the engine inlet and the throttle body inlet. Tighten the hose clamp on the engine inlet. Tighten the hose clamp on the throttle body inlet. Install the mass air sensor into the upper intake tube. Install the coupler and two hose clamps onto the throttle body. Tighten the hose clamp onto the throttle body. Install the coupler and the two hose clamps on the upper intake tube. Tighten the hose clamp on the upper intake tube. Install the intake tube into the throttle body, but do not tighten the hose clamp. Install the rubber mount with washer and nut. Install the lower intake tube. Align the upper and lower intake tubes, but do not tighten the hose clamp. Install the AEM air filter onto the lower intake tube and tighten the hose clamp. Align and adjust the upper intake tube for clearance. Then tighten the hose clamp on the throttle body. Tighten the hose clamp on the lower intake tube. Tighten the nut on the lower intake tube. Install the OEM PCV clip onto the hose. Install the PCV hose with the OEM clip onto the intake tube. Install the PCV hose onto the valve cover. Reconnect the mass air sensor. Stock air box system installed. AEM intake system installed. Reassemble the vehicle. Be sure to replenish the coolant that was drained during installation. Be sure to purge the coolant system before driving the vehicle. For any additional details regarding this procedure, refer to the factory service manual. Position the inlet pipes for the best fitment. Be sure that the pipes or any other components do not contact any part of the vehicle. Tighten any rubber mounts, all bolts, and hose clamps. With the engine turned off, have a friend run the shift lever through the gears and ensure that the counterweight for the shift rod does not contact the intake pipe. If the shifter rod makes contact with the pipe, do not drive the vehicle until this has been corrected by readjusting the pipe so it does not make contact. Install the driver's side wheel using the factory torque specification in the owner's manual. Check for proper hood clearance. Readjust pipes if necessary and retighten them. Inspect the engine bay for any loose tools and check that all fasteners that were moved or removed are properly tightened. Reconnect the negative battery terminal and start the engine. Let the vehicle idle for three minutes. Perform a final inspection before driving the vehicle. It will be necessary to check AEM air intakes periodically for realignment, clearance, and tightening of all connections. Failure to follow the above instructions or proper maintenance may void warranty. Go to aemintakes.com to find products, download installation instructions, view dyno chart showing estimated horsepower gains, and for other product details.